All right, guys, I am back. This time we're going to do my top ten favorite TV shows. The very first show, number one, is One Tree Hill. <laughs> uh, one Tree Hill, um, I didn't get into it until my cousins brought over, like, the DVD box set of it. Um, they brought over season three, and this show's been out for a while, so I'm going to give away a spoiler. Um, the first episode that I saw was the episode that Keith died. And it immediately got me hooked into the show. So my sisters and I immediately, <laughs> very soon after that, watched from season one, caught all the way up to whatever was on TV, and then I watched it until the end. Before Netflix took it off, um, I would watch it on Netflix all the time. I miss it so much. It was so good. Just because, like, I mean, it wasn't as good after Lucas and Peyton left. Another spoiler. Sorry. But I loved how, like, Brooke Davis evolved. I loved Haley and... I was like a little bit of all of them, which I loved. I was a little bit of Haley, I was a little bit of Peyton, and I was a little bit of Brooke. More so Brooke when she got older, not high school Brooke, because high school Brooke was the opposite of me. <laughs> Second show is Mindhunter on Netflix. There's only one season, but it's so good. And I saw on Netflix that they are making a second season that's hopefully coming soon. But it's a really cool show. It's how the FBI came up with the term serial killer. Um, they interview a bunch of serial killers and like it's just it's really interesting like it's hard to explain but you need to it's a show that like you need to watch it because it takes like one or two episodes to actually get into it but it's so worth it it's really cool the very last episode of this season actually like the way that they filmed it it's supposed to be like high anxiety like tense scene and it literally gave me anxiety and like <laughs> but in like a good way not like a bad way like not like an anxiety attack but like I felt everything that you were supposed to feel like I felt like I was standing right in the last scene with the main character Holden side note I also love the show because Jonathan Groff is in it and I'm a sucker for Jonathan Groff um, if you don't know him he was in Glee he was Jesse St. James in Glee and he was Kristoff in Frozen but he also did a lot of Broadway too but he's a very talented actor so look into him number three is Grey's Anatomy. I don't know what got me into it. I think mostly when I left my job at Target, um, I didn't have another job lined up, so I was unemployed for a month. So I kind of just sat home and binge watch shows. And I ended up watching the first seven or eight seasons of Grey's in about three weeks. And I was immediately addicted because I mean, I saw like bits and pieces of my mom watching it because my mom is really into it. And I heard, I heard everybody talking about it. I finally got into it and I am obsessed. I think it got renewed for another season or something like that and I'm really excited. Everyone's saying that it's kind of run its course and like it has a little bit but I hope that it's one of those shows that like never <laughs> goes off air because Meredith Grey is one of my favorite people ever. Absolutely ever. Maybe I'll do like another video of that of like top 10 favorite characters on TV shows because that would be an interesting one. <laughs> Number four is Friends. Which I have to thank next, which I have to thank Netflix for because it's another one of the shows that, like I always heard all the hoopla about it, but like people would mention stuff from the show and I would just be like, yeah, like oh yeah that one, like Ross and Rachel we were on the break, yeah I get it. But then I actually watched it and I was just like, oh my god, this show is the best thing ever. <laughs> Favorite character on that show has to be Chandler, by the way, because he's so funny. But it's just one of those classic classic shows. I can't talk today. It's a classic show, which everybody can really, like, it's just, it's so good. Because even 20 years later, the show is still incredible. And, like, it's still kind of relevant, almost. Like, the situations I get into, obviously not, like, how they always have to use, like, payphone. Like, there's an episode where, like, Chandler gets stuck in the bank and they have to use a payphone or anything like that. Like, it's just, yeah. <laughs> show number five is... How I Met Your Mother, because that was another show uh, between episodes of Grey's. I was watching that on Netflix as well, until Netflix took it off. Thanks, Netflix. But I got so into it, because like, I heard some people say that I would like it, and I, I, saw it on, like, I saw reruns on TV a couple times, but I watched it start to finish, and that was a show that I loved. I loved all the little like ongoing jokes, um, but I also, I don't know, there was just something about that show that I absolutely loved. I didn't mind the last episode. Because um, I know the last episode was really controversial, but I didn't really mind it. I thought it was a good way to just kind of end it because I got the ending that I wanted, really. I mean, I felt bad that about the whole mother situation. I don't want to give it away because I think people are still watching it. I don't know. Um, I felt bad about the whole mother situation, but 
I don't know. I got the ending I wanted, so whatever. Number six is NCIS. Uh, this is a show that I've liked for a while now. I haven't really watched it as much lately, ever since a couple characters left. Like, I haven't watched the last probably two seasons or so. But it's one of those shows that like when it's on, on like a Saturday morning, like the marathons, I will watch every single episode no matter how many times I've seen it. <laughs> like I, it's just, there's something about that show that I just, I'm hooked on. It's so good. And who doesn't like a good like murder, like crime drama? Am I right? Number seven. I'm kind of an old soul, and one of my favorite shows ever is M.A.S.H. My dad got me into this show, and my dad always jokes that the, well, I guess it's an ongoing joke, it's not just my dad, but everyone says that the show lasted longer than the war it's about. <laughs> but it's just a really good show that, like, you can watch any episode and, like, you're not lost, almost, if that makes sense. Like, it's a show that, like, goes in order, but at the same time you can watch an episode whatever and you're not lost. My favorite character on that has to be Radar, by the way, because Radar's so cute. He's adorable. I think that was based off a movie too, so I gotta watch the movie. Number eight. Number eight. Uh, Stranger Things. There's not a lot of Netflix themes in this video. Basically, thank you, Netflix. If only, you should like, oh, how great would it be if somehow Netflix just like found this video and started sponsoring me? That'd be great, because I need money. Anyways, uh, Stranger Things. There's one that I didn't really want to get into, just because it is kind of scary, and I'm not a fan of scary stuff, but my boyfriend Jeff convinced me to get into it and we watched it together in a little under a month I think because we mostly see each other on weekends so we watched it a couple like a couple weekends back to back but I mean like we watched it on our own too like during the week so I couldn't wait <laughs> but it's just such a good show it hooks you right in but actually also fun fact it gave me nightmares <laughs> I had a few nightmares with the Demogorgon which was great um, I felt really bad because Jeff felt really bad about that and that's not what I want like when I told him that that's not what my intention was but it's fine but it's a really good show and I'm really excited for season three I guess it comes out on the 4th of July which is gonna be interesting because I'm so excited oh, number <laughs> Nine. Show number nine is Glee. I was obsessed with Glee when it was on TV. I've even kind of started rewatching it on Netflix. But it's one of those shows that like I wish we had a Glee club in my high school, just because I would have loved to have that outlet like to sing all the time and everything. But also like their covers of songs were just so good. Like I loved the different theme every month. But I also loved the storylines. And obviously when Cory Monteith died, the episode about him was heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. But that was actually kind of a current theme of that, or like an ongoing theme of that show is that I would cry at almost every single episode. <laughs> like there was just something that got me in the feels every episode. No shame. I'm admitting it right now. I have to. Number 10. We got all 10 in there. Number 10 show is Game of Thrones. This is another show that I kind of was hesitating on because I know everyone was obsessed with it. So like, I'm going to be honest, I did want to be part of the like, 1% of people that are that didn't watch Game of Thrones but then my friend Brandon got me into it and I am hooked so hooked onto it I've been watching it more with Jeff because Jeff's obsessed with it too but we have like a couple episodes left of season 7 so don't spoil anything for me I think I have like 3 or 4 episodes left in season 7 but we're waiting until closer until the next season comes out to watch them just so it's a little bit fresher in our minds but that show is just it's one of those shows that like on a Saturday when I had nothing to do, I watched probably five episodes on a Saturday just because I couldn't stop watching it. I'm pretty sure I lost sleep on that show too because I'd stay up watching it. That's my top 10 favorite shows. Uh, if you agree with any of them or if you thought that I was gonna mention another show, comment them below. Tell me some of your favorite characters from the shows just in case I don't make another video because who knows if I actually will. Sorry. Those are my top 10 favorite shows. The next one is going to be my top 10 favorite books. Um, so again, like I said in the last video, if you guys want to leave your top 10 favorite books, or even just a couple of them, down in the comments, feel free to. Uh, like the video, subscribe, dislike the video if you want, share it with your friends, don't share it with your friends, watch it a bunch of times, it's really up to you. Um, if you want any other top 10 lists, like another category, throw them at me. I would love to have this like branch out to more stuff, because I have more ideas for videos and stuff, but... For right now, I'm gonna stick to some, making some top 10 videos um, and then see what my other ideas are just to keep content coming because this is something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy making videos and everything, but I just don't always find the time, but I'm gonna start making time for it because it's something I enjoy doing and it's just another way to get my creativeness out, which I like doing. So again, if you have 
any category suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, if you agree or disagree with any of the shows that I've said, leave it down below. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want. See you next time.